understand you grew up in Louisville. Take me back to some of the schools that you went to in the neighborhood you grew up in. So I grew up in the Parc Duval area and across from Shawnee Park with my dad. Um, I started off on a dance team called Fabulous Dance Team, and it was a hip hop team. So that's what I usually did after school, um, which evolved into me taking um, classes from Michael Thomas, which then led me to go to y -Pass, the Youth Performing Arts School for the dance program. And then uh, took me to Spelman and then to U of L. So you went to Spelman University? Uh, yeah, I went to Spelman College, and then I transferred back to the University of Louisville to finish. Wow. So where are you located today? So now I'm in Los Angeles, California. Living wow. <laughs> no. So you're about, what, three hours behind Louisville time? Yeah, I'm three hours behind. It's uh, 10 a.m. right now. Wow. So take me back to the day your, your, your parents saw you on Super Bowl. How surprised and proud of them were they of you? Oh, uh, so actually it wasn't a surprise because I told them, but um, they were beyond, beyond, beyond excited and supportive. And, you know, they love Mary J. Blige and they know as far as me being a professional dancer, this is a big deal. Mm -hmm. So everybody was getting all types of calls the week up leading up till so they're like are you ready are you ready are you ready are you ready and I'm like yes guys I'm so ready but I'm so excited but right. it, it just it all was just super exciting I felt like everybody was so loving so supporting if I needed anything they were there my brother reached out he, everybody wanted to know just updates on what's going on and how's it going and how are you feeling mm -hmm. so take me back to how do you get a gig like that with uh, Mary J Blige and the Super Bowl uh, what what steps did you have to take to get that type of job? So as far as um, getting the job, we have um, auditions out here. So I have an agent. The agent relays the message like, hey, there's an audition. You've been selected. Here's the time. Here's the location. So you come and you come with your, you know, your best hair, makeup, and you come with your best self ready to perform. So you'll learn your step. You'll do your performance in front of the choreographer. And the choreographer was Fatima Robinson, Tia Riviera, and Adrian Wiltshire. And, you know, if they like you, they'll let your agent know, hey, we want to use them and here will be the days of the rehearsal and the show. So how long did it take you to get that routine down that you did for the Super Bowl? So it didn't take that long, actually. I feel like within one to two days, we pretty much had it. And it was just more so cleaning from there on out and just making sure that it was aesthetically pleasing. Right. Now, did you get to practice with Mary J uh, prior to the Super Bowl? Sometimes they have fill-ins. Did she actually practice with you all? Or yeah, did so, yeah, she uh, which was very, was not surprising, but it was very fun because she was just ready. You know, it showed that her as an artist, she too wanted to make sure it looked good and it felt right. So we practiced with her and Sandins, but she was there a lot. But you didn't uh, communicate with her a lot or anything. You stayed within your group trying to get your, your moves down yeah, and everything. Uh, I just think there's like a common courtesy with artists. And, you know, as, as much as you're in your zone, they're in their zone. So if they don't reach out to you, then there's no need to rush them and like, you know, ask them a bunch of questions or anything. Now, when we look at this video of you performing, what shoulder are you on when she's performing? So I'm off of her left shoulder, which when you look at the video, I'm on the right. Um, I'm the second on the right. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's so fun. Uh, it was it so fun? Was it really? What kind of <laughs> high? What kind of high did you have when you were performing? What what what's that feeling like? Honestly, it was really it was indescribable because just you know the breath of everybody you walk into the stadium and it's just filled and packed full of people and you know it's a pandemic so I haven't seen that many people in so long. Right. Right. So right. it's like I feel like tears of joy and just my smile just immediately came out because I'm just like I'm so happy this is just such a big experience and it's just like a big breath of air like, whew, like, here we go we're about to do it. Wow, wow. Well, you you performed beautifully. I was so excited, but you couldn't tell anybody other than your family that you were doing the Super Bowl, could you? Or did they, no, right. you know? No, yeah. So usually within certain jobs, they'll have you sign an NDA. And that's just to make sure that as far as the show goes, we want everybody to be excited, everybody to be surprised. We don't want to give anything away. So I only told my mom and my dad just so no one else knew and it could be a surprise for everybody. Wow, that's awesome. So when are you coming back to Louisville to sit down and talk to me? <laughs> um, I'm actually 
I might be able to come back um, the end of February, beginning of March. I have a job in the middle of March, so June. So I might be able to come back because I'll wow. be like in Atlanta. I'll be in Atlanta, so I'll be six hours away. So that's, that's, well, that's not bad at all. But yeah. I wanted to know what other jobs are you working on right now? I'm trying to think that you can tell me. Oh my gosh! gosh. So can they're I, that good. I, I was gonna say, "Whoo!" Can I tell you? Um, I feel like I can tell you, but honestly, well, don't, 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 no, don't make anything. Like, like, don't make anything. Hard. But they must be pretty good if you can't say anything. I'm, I'm working on a movie, so this is a huge. This is another this is huge deal. Oh, this is a huge deal. It's this is a huge deal. deal. And, well, we're and, so proud of you. Oh, thank you. I mean, we really are proud of you. What advice would you give other uh, artists and entertainers uh, that want to be in your field as a dancer and actress? Uh, what advice can you give them, especially these young people in Louisville, Kentucky? I would give them, first of all, listen to yourself, follow your own heart, because everybody will tell you, oh, I don't think you can do this. And oh, I've seen this before, but no one's actually ever done it. You know, mm -hmm. um, on top of that, be consistent be consistent in research. So like, as far as moving out to LA, I had to be consistent with myself. I had to say, okay, I'm going to save this amount of money. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to keep trying until it works. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, consistency, believing in yourself and really like putting in the work, like as wow. far as training, rehearsing, give yourself that time, make sure you're actually getting acquainted with your craft. Mm -hmm. Wow, th that's great advice. Now, were you scared to move from Louisville to one of these other states? How much anxiety was that for you to say, I'm going to pack up my bags and I'm moving? Oh, that was so easy. It was ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I told my parents, I said, hey, I, I went out to LA because I just went on my own time. I was like, I'm going to go out to LA. I'm going to go audition for this agency because I know that's the first step for me getting to where I want to be. I went out here on a whim with my own money. I auditioned. I got it. I let them know, hey, I'm in school. I'm going to finish. And they said, okay, come out here when you're ready. And I told my parents, I'm like, you know, I'm going to grind and make sure I get enough, as enough, enough money as I can before I move out there. And once I go, I'm gone. And they were like, okay, we believe you. That's how serious I am. I'm like, I'm gone and I'm not coming back. Oh my goodness. And see, I'm the very opposite. I'm like, nope, I'm ne never leaving. I'll, I'll go for three days, a week, a month, but mm -hmm. I'm always like, no, I got to come home. I got to come home. No, I, I come home as far as like yearly. Yeah, I come home. I see my family. I see my friends, but I just, I love LA, honestly. Wow. So you went to Manual High School and, and went on and performed at y -Pass. Is that correct? Yes. Wow. I was actually on the dance team and I was in the youth performing arts. So, yeah. Did you have any particular genre of dance that you did? Yeah. So for manual, we um, mostly concentrated in ballet and modern. And then you had electives like jazz and tap. So um, I really enjoy jazz, really love tap. And of course, I have the utmost respect for modern because that's everything. Right. But, yeah, ballet right. too. <laughs> well, that is great. Well, did you party after the Super Bowl? What did you do after the Super Bowl? Once you, you got off the field and you said it's over, what did you do? Then everybody rushed back to our holding area. We took a bunch of pictures, a bunch of videos, because, you know, this was just a special moment for all of us. We've been together for the past couple of weeks. And now we're not going to be able to, now we're not going to see each other just on the job, particularly. So we just got as much made as much memories as we possibly could. And of course, we all went out and partied together later, which was super, super, super fun.